Hey you guys, it is colder than you know what, but we have to get some groceries. It's really dark out here. Hold on. Gotta get my boots on. Boyfriend went to get the car washed. And he's come back to pick me up. We're gonna head out. Um, I was, I had thought of going to Aldi's. But it closes very shortly, so we're probably going to end up going to Whole Foods. And... Oh no. I have to take my boots off because the keys. Or actually, do I need the keys? Yes, I need the keys. Ugh. Struggles. When you already have your boots on, but you have to take them off to walk back in the house. Because you forgot the keys. Okay. Be right back. Yeah, just getting a few things to make, um, make a dinner, I guess, and some leftovers for tomorrow. I'm thinking to make, like, like a stove top, tuna, pasta, maybe some peas. Anyways, okay, I think I have everything. Ugh. I forgot the grocery bag. Like the reusable bags. Third time's a charm. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay, putting on my boots again. Oh gosh. Probably also going to get some eggnog because boyfriend got an early birthday present. Some rum, the Kraken brand. So yeah. Maybe have some spiked eggnog later on. All right. Let's go. Lights. What lights? Like I've seen two light bulbs already flickering. Whoa. Hmm. I wonder when that wing stop is gonna open. Or did it open already? I don't know. The wing stop? I don't think it did. What was that? Avenge Sevenfold. Lost boyfriend. Meanwhile, I'm jamming out in Whole Foods. What about your friends? What about your friends? That TLC. Where could he be? Lost the boyfriend. Oh, there he is. I'm just around. Are we gonna let you down here? Yeah. Do you know this song? Four bucks. What about your friends? This one. Here. You wanna make the chili or something from the ground beef? They have songs about those wars, that's why I figured they were from those areas. But they play their songs a lot in the movies. Yeah. Grew up on this show. Alright. Alright, Mimo. Good luck on your shift. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy your cooking. Yeah, Get yeah, some yeah. some mixed beverage. Mixed. Uh, oh, maybe I'll mix it in my smoothie. Yeah, there you can do that. Yeah. You can put this juice with your 
Because we don't have any ice, so. Yeah. Forgot to get ice. Oh, well. I was reading that uh, they usually do, uh, they do uh, a drink called, uh, you know, they make tea. Mm -hmm. And then add, uh, it's called Gorg, Grog, Grog. Yeah, that's Grog. the one I told you about over at Simon's Tavern. Yeah, they, uh, you, you make tea or boil the water. Mm -hmm. You put, uh, you put the uh, rum in it and some sugar. Yeah. You mix it and you drink it but hot like that to keep you warm. To keep you warm. That was the one I was telling you we could make. That's the spiced cider kind of thing, or the spiced oh, you wine. Can also the add, mold uh, wine. Cinnamon in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or wine. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm out of here. Hey, you guys. So I thought I'd show my Whole Foods haul really quick. Sorry about the lighting. It's a little crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, there's 15 items and the subtotal was about, let me see, 30 something, let me see here. What was the subtotal? 36. And, you know, Chicago tax, what is it, like 10% or something like that. I forget what it is. Anyways, so yeah, let me just go really quick through them. Meanwhile, I'll try to find some decent lighting so you all can see. Uh, grab some of our favorite chips. The kettle, the jalapeno ones. We also like, um, I think it's the same brand as these. The buffalo blue and the ones with avocado oil. The chili lime ones. Yeah, so we like, we like that brand. The kettle chips, they're like, they're a different kind of crunch if you're not familiar with them. They're not like thin and crispy. They have more of a bite to them, I guess you could say. Meanwhile, Kitty Cat's trying to get into the bag. She's always doing this. Hey, can I can I get my eggs out? Hmm? Hmm? Can I can I get Okay. <laughs> um, next one are some eggs. These were $2.99, I think. It's a $3.65 everyday value brand, so the Whole Foods brand. These are cage-free plus large white grade A eggs. It says it's uh, under the non-GMO project standards. Whatever that means. Then we grabbed some ground beef that was on sale at $3.99 a pound. Ground beef, so probably for another dinner. Um, these are like random items, kind of. This is probably the second or third purchase of this incense brand, the Maroma brand, and this one is in Juniper. And there's some more info. Um, so I haven't tried this one before. We've tried the, what was the other one we tried? Uh, Cypress and, what was it? I forget. I'm sorry. I had it and then it escaped me. But this one's three forty nine. So yeah, um, I had purchased some incense from the Dollar Tree and we really didn't care for it. So I won't be doing that one again. And then we grabbed these. These are two for four bucks. They were on sale at the register. One of those things where they like catch you to purchase extra little products last minute. What do you call them? Like, what's the term for it? Like impulse buy so yeah this is a protein superfood though I thought it'd be good for um, like rehearsal days for my smoothies and some frozen goods for dinner tonight some I got some shelled edamame I don't know if you can tell the 365 brand again um, they had it in the shell and it just seemed like there was more there were more servings in this one this one said three servings the other one said two servings so i thought that was strange i don't know how it works with packaging and whatnot but it just seemed like there was more in this one in the shell that amame so i grabbed that and i haven't had these in a really long time so um I thought I could have these with some uh, sea salt on them, and yeah, I I had heard that like soybeans really aren't all that great for you unless they're fermented. So I don't know how true that is, but 
that's one of the reasons why I don't uh, consume a lot of soy products like soy milk. And the other frozen product uh, is for the pasta. I'm going to make some frozen green peas. And uh, let's see. Some tuna, two cans of the tuna for the pasta. And these were $1.99 each. It's the chunk white albacore tuna in water with no salt added. And then I grabbed this one was $3.49 the organic oat I really like this one um, this kind of non-dairy beverage I like it a lot and the other one I grabbed because it was on sale it was at $1.99 is um, the organic almond milk 365 brand and last but not least is some orange juice Sorry for bending over and such, but I don't have much room here in the kitchen. Um, yeah, some orange juice, organic. I really like pineapple and banana together in the juice. So we're going to crack open this real quick because I'm thirsty and probably have it with some rum. I don't know, maybe I'll make it into a smoothie. But yeah, let me see if there's any prices on here that you might want to know. Um... Let me see, let me see. Um, let's see. The orange juice was $3.99. The green peas were $1.39. Shelled edamame was $1.79. The kettle potato chips were $2.99. Um, and other than that, the only thing that was missing is some Spry peppermint gum that boyfriend purchased at $1.49. Everything else, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it throughout the video. But I'll go ahead and list this in the description box also. Uh, just in case you're wanting to know the prices and the brands and such. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, you guys. The only other thing Kitty's getting in the bag. I don't know if you can see her if I were to show her down here. Can you see her? Kitty, what you doing? What you doing? Hmm? You have to get into everything, don't you? Mm, is that your new home? Okay. It's never a dull moment here. What are you doing? There's nothing in there. I've emptied it out. Um, are you going to take a nap? Are you going to take a nap? Am I bothering you? I'm sorry. I'll let you go now. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have it with some of this. I think I'm going to have it with some Kraken. This is a black spiced rum. It's a really cool bottle. Except it says 94 proof on here. So I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Um, maybe not. <laughs> but it came with a cup. A really cool cup. Which is way up there. I can't reach it. It looks like a... It's, um marketed as a tiki glass so i guess it looks like that but i cannot reach it to show it to you guys um yeah i can't reach it if i ever get a little photo or something like that but it's um it was part of like a gift like gift packaging i think that's popular around the holidays you know how you can always get like extra cool like value packages gift packages around the holidays um, so yeah, it was something like that. But anyways, alright, I'm gonna get going on this dinner and my drink and hopefully upload and do some minimal editing to this video. Yeah. Alright you guys, bye. Thanks for watching.